I am taking these letters from the New South Wales MacArthur Anglican School students, the Year 5 students from 2021, and delivering them to our RAVE students. And I'm really excited because this is the culmination of a project that we embarked on at the end of last year and I can't wait to see their reactions. What we've been trying to teach the students is to really develop in them a disposition of empathy for them to really seek to understand the plight of the New South Wales students in their extended lockdown and to be able to articulate their understanding. I'm so excited. Actually, when I opened um, the letter to make sure that what I thought was in it was in it, I had a little sneak peek, um, I became quite tearful because I realised the power in the pen and what, how you can actually transform a person's life and bring a blessing to them in a very small gesture of kindness. We sought to instill in the children some of the creativity dispositions and what was interesting is we started with collaborative and empathetic but that then links in very effectively with some of the other dispositions namely responsive ongoing reflection throughout the process an openness to experiencing something new and doing something different in seeking to understand people's plight and also I suppose an element of risk taking because they were sharing some of them themselves their own hopes and desires and fears that they had experienced during lockdown and in a way making themselves slightly vulnerable by sharing that information and all these creativity dispositions work together and dovetail very, very well together. I found with students, when you ask them about the notion of empathy, they were able to articulate that it is walking in someone's shoes, but they didn't always know how to fully seek to understand the situation of the person that they were talking about. So we spent time practicing empathy. So first of all, it was really observing finding out information about New South Wales, discovering that they'd been in lockdown, term three, the whole of the July holidays, and then three weeks of term four. Then also seeking to imagine how they would feel if they had been in that situation, which they hadn't been for the same period of time. And then importantly, articulating their understanding of empathy. So these dispositions are deep and they require a person to go on a journey, a personal inner journey to really fully understand them. Before we can teach the children or engender these dispositions in children, I found that I myself have had to go on the journey. So for example with empathy is to really understand what empathy means and practice it in my own life as I collaborate with other teachers. And I suppose that's why empathy and collaboration and this, this disposition work so well, because it is in collaborating and walking various journeys within school life that one learns to be more empathetic. Yeah, sixes. I nearly said year fives. Today's the day. We received an envelope. Miss Emsley and Yip six students. Thank you for showing us kindness and care by sending us letters. We hope that you enjoy receiving these letters as much as we as we enjoyed receiving yours. From Mrs. Morgan, Mrs. Stassen and the Year 5 students. We were in lockdown. We found it extremely difficult. It was difficult. But for them to discover that it was Term 3, the whole of the June holidays, and three weeks of Term 4, that really opened our students' eyes and they said, wow. So it was a thrill that they moved from their own backyard, yes, to a more, a broader picture of what's going on in life. I've got stamps. That's so cool. I've got like from Lex. Did you say they spelled your name right? Yeah, yeah. Right, for the first time. Yeah. You mean nobody normally spells it right? It's always S-A-N-A or S-A-N-N-A. Mine's always P-A-G-E. Yeah, mine's always P-A-G-E. But it's P-A-I-G. Everyone spells my name right, but they put an A in there instead of an E. How could they do that? I'm in 5G. I like 
soccer, cricket, video games such as Fortnite and Roblox. I also enjoy dirt mining, biking in gullies areas. From the start of 2017. Oh. Wait, what is... What's that? Mail... Box? Box or book? Mail box. That's cool. Email. It says, Dear Thomas, thank you for writing this letter to me. My name is Lakshanya. I am 10 years old. It was really kind of you to send this to me. You were 100% right about the fact that it was boring at home. Every morning we had to get up and just sit in front of the computer screen. You are so lucky you didn't have to do that for, for four months. Anyway, I love to play tennis and dancing. What are your favourite sports? I don't have any pets. I am very excited to be back. I didn't necessarily go insane because of my siblings, but it was quite annoying. I love history, geography, there's so much to learn. I don't have any stage fright. I perform in front of a crowd 10 days ago. What is your favourite sport? I like tennis. Yes, being in lockdown was hard, but not being able to see my friend was hard too. Thank you for thinking of us. I have a name, I have a cat named Daisy. I'm a cat and dog person. What is your cat's name? We then went back to step one and we said, let's look at this disposition and let's, let's go on the journey of empathy ourselves. So it was a, a matter of observing what was going on. So we discussed some helpful phrases in the empathy journey. For example, it must be very difficult to have been in lockdown for so long. And giving the students a couple of phrases, that must be really hard for you. Um, to, as it were, to start that empathy speak. Um, so there was a little bit of trepidation. How do I phrase it? How do I write it? How do I actually set out a letter? Uh, but once they had the freedom to share about their own lives, their, their dogs and their cats and their, their loves and their joys, they, they found that part really easy. And I think for many students, they haven't really held a letter in their hands before with modern technology. They were just absolutely thrilled. And I love the comments, um, can we write back, please, can we write back right away? And having to delay that gratification of waiting until tomorrow morning was a real thrill. It was beyond what I actually even imagined. Thank you.